It has been some time since we have stood in front of the house and looked at this small island with its grasses and flowers. The grasses are now in full maturity and the contrast between the colors and the rock that stands amidst them is beautiful. So as you reflect upon this island, I also ask you to reflect upon the Creator who has given us variety in nature, beautiful variety. And as you reflect upon Him, breathe in His gentle spirit and breathe out the cares of this world. Reading still from Come Away My Beloved by Francis J. Roberts. There is a day coming when you shall say, I have waited in vain for the Lord. Though ye shall wait for me to speak, and ye shall hear only the whistling of the wind. For I say unto thee, I am never silent. Ye are deaf. I am always speaking, but I find not thine ear attuned to listen. You sit alone in a desolate place and grieve in thy loneliness, but it shall not be that I have left thee, but ye have become insensitive to my presence. Yea, I say unto thee that if ye ignore my personal nearness and fellowship, and if ye return not my overtures, ye shall become dull of perception and shall not be able to discern me even though I am near at hand, even though my love for thee is still as strong as before. Lo, I say unto thee, be not lukewarm, lest ye be among those who are cast out of my fellowship. How shall ye escape? It is written, if ye neglect so great salvation. But I say now unto thee, how shall ye survive in thy private walk in the spirit if ye pay but faint heed to my personal nearness to thee and if ye respond not in like kind to the affection i proffer thee thou shalt not be able to meet the needs of others with anything short of this there is no cure for the ills of humankind but what is contained in the love of God. And ye cannot give to them until ye have taken it from me. Lord, help us to embrace your fellowship. In the precious name of Jesus, amen.